Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back again with another news update. PowerCon 2021 was upon us this past weekend, September 11th and 12th. I was there on Saturday and there was a ton of new Masters of the Universe toys on display. In fact, lots of just new Masters of the Universe merchandise in general and there's a lot to talk about. So we're just going to jump right into it, but I do ask that if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So to kick it off, Mattel made a great presentation. Unfortunately, everyone was not there. They did a really nice video presentation and they had everybody involved with the team putting in their own thoughts and ideas on what the toys can and possibly will be but before they got into it a bit of housekeeping right dispelling all the rumors now <laughs> you know all it takes is one person to say hey this is gonna be a thing and then everybody jumps on board but for fyi for everyone involved motu is not going away in 2023 there are no plans to discontinue origins and there's plenty of reasons to be excited there's a ton of new products coming in 2022 just a heads up, everything shown here is basically just leading up to spring 2022. So from now until almost around summer, that's when you can expect to find most of these things on shelves. And there is a ton of coming. But another reason to be excited is they love hearing from you and they're continually working to improve distribution. We all know how distribution is working recently, especially with Master Z Universe Origins. So fingers crossed especially with the shipping problems now, we do see a bit of a change coming in 2022. To kick it off, there are going to be new core figures coming. So you got Buzz Off, Jitsu, and then a new Sorceress figure in her classic digs. Also, down in the left-hand side corner, you might see a man pop up with glasses on. He kept putting his head in and out, so... Good day to you, sir. And coming up is Anti-Eternia He-Man. That's the all black and red character, Clawful. And I'm pretty sure what they call a mini comics comic book trap jaw and the green and such. So that's pretty cool. New He-Man, new Skeletor based off their old He-Man iteration. So that's pretty cool. I love the terror claws on Skeletor right there. That's awesome. And wait, what's that? <laughs> Hey, they made this presentation. I'm just relaying it back. But is that a horse shooting lasers? Why, yes. It's Origins Stridor. And that's pretty cool. And I love the base that he comes with. They did briefly kind of go over the fact that, yes, they are intentionally building out the surrounding Castle Grayskull with all the green platforms and such. Not that they're going to necessarily interlock at some point. But it just gives you the sense, especially for a collector, especially for me and my taste, you're building it out on your shelf. And I really like that, starting with the castle platforms, little rocky jagged pieces, little creatures from the castle. That's all pretty cool. And you can see Stridor comes with a ton of accessories and such. And here's the packaging for this guy as well. Roy Juarez did make mention that on this particular packaging, when you get it, when you look up close, there's a huge Easter egg to it on perhaps some upcoming figures slash figures. So be on the lookout for that. And then that kind of wrapped it up as far as Origins went. They moved into He-Man Revelation. So they're still going to be doing the Masterverse, of course. Masterverse right now is going to be mainly Revelation. And then we'll see in just a second, they're going to be going into new Eternia and other brands within the Motu brand. So we have Fisto. Scareglow, who's a little bit different. He doesn't have that break apart power sword that the Comic Con exclusive had, and he doesn't also have the cloth cape. He's going to have a plastic cape and his howl beard this time around. You got Andra, and then you also have Jason Muse, aka Stinkor, so that's pretty cool. And you'll see later on in this video, I'll show close ups of the Mattel booth. These figures look fantastic. If they look exactly how they look in these glass cases, Everyone should be excited if you're a Revelation fan. And then you have Merman, Mr. Kevin Conroy himself. And then a classic looking Tila that's based off 
Revelation and sort of the old 80s He-Man, but you get two different heads for her, and she does look good. And again, this is another great one that looks great on display in the glass case. New deluxe figures. They had one all blacked out, confidential. They said, ah, oh, we can't even show this. They could have showed it, <laughs> but they did not show it. But we're going to be getting the motherboard of Trapjaw and Triclops. And these figures do look great. So you're kind of getting the whole priesty look from the Revelation series as far as season one goes. You can go classic style for the characters or you can go the whole crazy religious holy sprocket kind of deal. But uh, Triclops does look good. Deluxe figures packed to the hilt with all kinds of accessories. And really... It's not saying, here's this figure, you have to buy two figures. Realistically, this is a good way to do it. You could buy two figures if you wanted to display them separately, but you only need one, to be quite honest with you. And on the back of the box, you see all the artwork and such, and you can screen grab this if you want to go ahead and read his bio. And we're going to be getting a Target-exclusive Deluxe King Gray Skull. He actually has a red version of Scareglow's cape, nice and wired. He's got lots of little furry pieces to him. They really made the mention of going above and beyond as far as cloth goods go. He's got that realistic looking break apart sword from the show. More so than Scareglow, although I do like Scareglow's version. I like this version too. Heck, it looks cool in either sense. But swords, shield, extra hands, extra head portrait. Sky is stacked to the hilt. And again, you can screen grab this if you want to read up on old King Grey Skull. And then, this is what I mean by, you're going to be taking the Masterverse itself, encompassing all manner of He-Man properties. So you have Revelation, you have New Eternia, which we'll get to in just a second, a mysterious Princess of Power, whether or not it'll be Netflix or classic She-Ra is unknown at the moment, and then you have He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, which is the logo for the new kids quote-unquote cartoon show that's going to be coming to Netflix. So you're going to see figures in the Masterverse scale across all the different properties that encompasses Masters of the Universe. So with New Eternia, it's going to be taking character designs, concept designs, perhaps things that have appeared in other forms of media, comic books and such, and they're going to turn them into action figures. So you have Barbarian He-Man, Viking Skeletor. Skeletor looks really cool. He-Man looks a little bunched up. I'm kind of, uh, he needs a couple tweaks here and there. Don't get me wrong, he looks good. I'm glad he's got the knife in the boot. Everything looks stellar on him, but he just looks a little smushed. You know what I mean? But Skeletor, on the other hand, he looks great. And a bearded Skeletor, that's just wild. <laughs> I love that. And then going into He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So this is the new Netflix cartoon. You'll see later in this video, I'll have some photos of these figures. But in all sense, they're bright, they're colorful, they're very toyetic. They'll be great for kids. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of eyeing that slime pit, snake mountain kind of thing right there in the back. It actually looks pretty cool. And it looks like it would fit with He-Man Origins really nicely. Just FYI. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, did you hear about the big news coming for 2022, right? New for 2022, new for 22. You can put that on the packaging. So just FYI, depending on when you see this video, but starting September 13th, which is Monday, you can grab the new comic book inspired Triclops figure. This is also the fan chosen figure. You can grab him. It's going to be at the Mattel Creations site. 9 a.m. I would say in and around 9 a.m. So if you want them, definitely get them. Also, to kind of combat distribution and everything, Origins will be coming to the Mattel Creations website. It's not that's all. It'll still be at retail, but they're going to make it a little bit easier for you to get the figures that you need. But that's not all, of course. So as far as Mattel Creations goes, in spring 2022 and in fall 2022, they will be having two exclusive releases on the Mattel Creations website. So as far as spring 2022 goes, we're going to be getting a Wondar figure that will go up. And then also a Koldar figure. So every name that ends in R is getting a figure. But you can see fall 2022 was not revealed just yet. But coming spring 2022, two new figures only at the Mattel Creations website. 
And just an FYI, along with Triclops, you can also get on Monday, September 13th, limited quota of all three of the PowerCon 2021 exclusives. So if you missed them, or for some reason something happened, you just didn't get them, you have a second shot September 13th, Monday, in and around 9 a.m. Pacific on the Mattel Creations website. But that's still not all, right? You have the Sun Man, which was revealed a couple days before PowerCon, but the old, we'll say, not really knockoff, but He-Man adjacent figure, right? The Sun Man will officially be joining He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So they worked out a deal, and yeah, all the characters, Sun Man himself, everything from that world will officially join He-Man. They'll join him in Probably the Masterverse, but right now they got comics going and they're going to be joining the He-Man Origins. And he looks cool. And that's really an interesting idea to kind of mesh together two toy lines. But again, with everything happening with Masters of the Universe, it's really cool to include a huge whole new subsection of characters into this world, into this larger world, we'll say now. But if you were wondering... On September 13th, Monday, in around 9 a.m. on the Mattel Creations website, you can also get the brand new Sun Man action figure. So you can pre-order him. He comes with this really cool tri-fold-out card. It's got comics on the back of it. Again, I'll have more photos later on in the video when we explore the Mattel booth. But it is very cool to see. And don't worry... They just wanted to point this out. Sun Man will also be joining the rest of the Mass of the Universe at retail. So if you don't get this exclusive version on the Mattel Creations website, and he, along with all his other characters like Pighead and such like that, will join him at retail. So not to worry. Look for all of these new He-Man origin figures in and around, we'll say, towards the end of 2021 into spring 2022. How that's gonna go and then just to kind of wind down we had the mattel booth they were showing off the mega constructs havoc staff which is borderline we'll say real life scale uh, it's it's a huge staff but it might be on the smaller side but it's pretty dang cool i gotta give it to them on that and then on the other side of the display they had more mega constructs you have the zombie he-man with the horde pit the Land Shark, She-Ra versus Hordak, and the Monstroid. So if you're a big fan of Mega Constructs, yeah, you're probably going to be building out some new toys coming up quick. Had some of the new Netflix Masters of the Universe toys on display, like He-Man on the motorcycle and then the Slime Pit, which again, kind of seeing these figures, kind of seeing it in real life, I would say that the Slime Pit, Snake Pit, will probably match up really well with the He-Man Origins figures. Then you have the He-Man Origins line, and they had a great display. It's a reused display. I've seen this display lots of times at the conventions. Big old tentacled monster you're always grabbing one of the characters. But all the new ones on display, always cool to see them in this diorama. And they also had like a comic book version of Stratos, something to that degree. You could probably help me out in the comments down below. But yeah, he has different color styling to him. You get to see the sorceress up there in the corner, anti-Eternia He-Man. So very cool to see. And then of course, here's all the names of the characters. So again, I do believe that's a comic book style. Stratos and the new Sun Man was on display. Again, that's the Mattel Creations exclusive with the comic book on the back of him. He looks cool, different character. Very cool to see Sun Man join the Masters of the Universe. But I think the real standout, in all honesty, was all the new He-Man Masterverse, specifically more in terms of Revelation, and then two from New Eternia. All of them look fantastic. And again, like I'll say, as good as these look, hopefully they look just as fantastic when you buy them on store shelves. But again, that Skeletor, he's a real standout. Stinkor, that's, <laughs> that's very cool. You got the Priest. Trapjaw, Motherboard, Trapjaw, Triclops, and you have King Grayskull, which again, that's a really cool fuzzy cape right there. Very cool to see. Scare Glow, as you can see. Now, I think it may have just been the lights. I don't think that he's going to be a different color, we'll say, than the San Diego Comic Con release in the yellow. I honestly think it was just the lights, but we'll have to wait and see. Does not have the bendy wire cloth cape, and he comes with his 
Halbeard as well. And then you have Andra, which is the new character from Revelation. Got to meet the voice actress for her. Lovely person. Thank you so much. And Merman, which he's missing the eye, doing the whole Kevin Conroy thing. He looks good. Nice green color to him. You have the classic style Tila, which she looks amazing. And when they announced this, the crowd just went like insane. They're like, yes. By now, we've all heard tales of the Tila debacle from He-Man Revelation. <laughs> which, by the way, let me just point this out. Everyone at PowerCon had like the nicest thing to say about Revelation. So those are the people that, you know, like Masters of the Universe, all the people that make those videos and say all those horrible things they, I, they've never seen masses of the universe come on that's just ridiculous but again all the masterverse figures that are coming look fantastic nice colors just very very cool very spot on to the source material and then finally just to kind of go over something i picked up i thought they were very cool these are fan made he-man revelation head sculpts this is by Hordak MX on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. You can go ahead and follow him. This guy had a huge crowd at his table from the time I got there to the time when I was like, you know what, I better get these heads while they're still there. But he had a ton of them. And by the time I left, he was down to pretty much zero. He sold them like hotcakes, but they actually fit beautifully on top of the Revelation bodies. And it's just a little bit more spot on. Now, in seeing the original head sculpts, I was largely like, okay, you know, I mean, it works. But seeing these, it's like night and day. So if you're interested, highly recommend them. Check them out. Check them out on Instagram. And maybe see about ordering yourself a set. So that's really going to wrap it up for all the cool toys that I saw at the new PowerCon 2021. A lot of great stuff on display. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Is there anything that you need? Anything you gotta be grabbing? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything PowerCon 2021. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if you're a He-Man fan, you got lots of merchandise to come in, so get ready. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.